So the connection between Donald Trump and Jeffrey Epstein isn't new news. Trump admitted he knew Epstein for 15 years, even stating that Epstein, quote, likes beautiful women as much as I do, and many of them are on the younger side. In 2021, as part of Ghislaine Maxwell's trial, it was revealed that Donald Trump lied about riding on Epstein's plane. He actually flew on it seven times, but the flight logs do not include the ages of the passengers. Trump and Epstein were sued by a woman who went by the pseudonym Katie Johnson. Johnson alleged that Trump raped her at a party inside Epstein's New York home. But that case ended up getting dismissed by a federal judge, and then she herself dropped the lawsuit two more times, all in the span of 2016. And then there was another woman. She, her name was Sarah Ransom. She claimed in 2016 that Trump, Bill Clinton, and others were involved in Epstein's sex trafficking scheme, but she ended up recanting those allegations three years later in 2019. But there are new, there's new misleading claims about Trump and Epstein, and, and they're circulating on social media after the Palm Beach County grand jury records from 2006 were unsealed. In the nearly 200 pages of grand jury testimony, though, Donald Trump isn't mentioned one time. So what's the real story for you? The real story is the way the prosecutors victim shamed and berated the victims. They were girls as young as 14 years old who had been sexually assaulted and manipulated by Epstein, Maxwell, and others. And those prosecutors just turned around two years later, knowing all of that they did, and they cut a sweetheart deal with Jeffrey Epstein. Hey there, MSNBC fans. I'm Luke Russert, and be sure to join me, Rachel Maddow, Jen Psaki, Lawrence O'Donnell, Steve Kornacki, Joy Reid, and many more, September 7th in Brooklyn, MSNBC Live Democracy 2024. Click on the link for ticket information. We will see you there.